Question number two, when you have an equation that looks like this, you want to get the absolute value by itself. So you want to isolate the absolute value first. So to do that, I like the absolute value. I prefer that being not having a negative sign outside because then it wouldn't be isolated. You'd still have a coefficient. So we're going to move this this way. We're going to move negative two this way. So nine plus two is going to give us 11. And this makes this positive 4x plus one in the brackets. Now we still have our two cases. Case one, we're gonna solve and keep four X plus one positive. So moving, rearranging this, subtracting that. So 10 equals four X, divide off the four, X equals five over two. In case two, we're going to have 11 equals, and now you're going to bring a negative sign through the absolute value part of that um, equation. So case two would be like this. So if you can visualize the negative sign changing both signs, you can jump to that step. Moving this over, 12 equals negative four X, divide negative four off, and you get X is equal to negative three. Now, Part of the solving process is the check. So we must check each one. So when you're checking, you have to check with the absolute value symbols. You could leave the 11 over here. I like to check with this. So if I made a calculation error, I catch it as well. So I'm substituting in five over two. So we get nine minus, so four <clears throat> times five, so 20 over two. We get 10 plus one equals negative two. 9 minus 11 equals negative 2. When we take 11 out of the brackets, here we're going to get 9 minus 11 equals negative 2. So negative 2 equals negative 2. So this is a true statement. So you want to clearly state your solutions or you could get a E1 communication error about final answer not clearly stated or, re or roots not rejected. Let's solve for this, or sorry, check for this one now. We're going to plug a negative 3 in. So 9 minus, open those brackets, 4 times negative 3 plus 1, close the brackets, equals negative 2. 9 minus, brackets, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 plus 1, equals negative 2. 9 minus, your absolute value um, here, so negative 12 plus 1 is negative 11, equals negative 2. 9 minus 11. So this changes to positive now when you take that out. So 9 minus 7, you get negative 2 equals negative 2, which means this is a true statement. So where's my solution here? x equals negative 3. So again, clearly state your answers. If they are both true, um, you want to circle them both.